you know some examples. Let's look at examples. Example of, examples of motions when you know both energy and the force. Are you comfortable with uh, gravity force? Mm -hmm. So, the gravity force around us is constant. The same vector everywhere. What's going to be the energy? How does that look like? And what is energy? Is it a vector? Is it just one number? Or isn't it a number assigned to every point? So if this is a plane, right? So we keep looking at R2. Isn't energy going to be a number assigned to every point of the plane? So it's going to be a function on the plane. What can you say about that function? The energy function of the gravity field. Is there anything you can say about it? It is composed of two components. Two components, like what? Potential and kinetic. Potential and kinetic. Well, you see, there is only a field of forces, and there is nothing moving there. So, so we are probably talking about potential energy of this field of forces. So we disregard the kinetic, because kinetic comes from the fact that something is moving there. Without something moving, we are talking about potential. So this is potential energy of that field of forces. What can you say about that energy function? It's negative. It's negative? Negative of what? So now, now you better give me something positive. Uh, negative the force in the field. The so this is a constant force, right? Negative F. That's and left hand side is a number. Right hand side is a vector. A I, I don't like it. The hmm? negative uh, function of the forces acting at that point. Okay, so what? Well, the force is everywhere the same, right? Is energy going to be everywhere the same? Uh, it's going to be negative f times distance or height of the force. Oh, height. Why are you talking about the height? Oh. Why are you talking about the height? Because uh, height is basically distance, uh, total displacement that will be done if you let the object go. So height is something about these levels, right? So what's so special about those levels? As you go the opposite direction of the force vector, mm -hmm. your potential energy increases. Okay. So what are these? Is there any relation between these horizontal lines and the energy function? What is that? Are those level sets of the energy function? Don't we expect the energy to be exactly the same along this line? And the energy is exactly the same along that line, but different from that line, right? So these Identify the levels of energy, and the higher you go, the more energy you expect. Okay. So what do you think the relation should be between energy and the force? Partial derivative of uh, E with respect to X and Y. Wouldn't you like the, the derivative of the energy function to be the force? Is that what it 
Vamos a ver. So what's, what's the gradient of this energy function? So the level sets are like this. What do we know about the gradient with respect to the level set? So if I, if I am to draw a gradient vector of this function at this point, is there anything you can say about it? About its direction? Isn't it perpendicular to that level set? Now, which way does it go? The energy is getting higher. Uh -huh, to the way of the higher energy, right? So that's the gradient. Okay, well then, it seems like the gradient is opposite to the... And that's where the negative comes from. So the gradient of the energy is negative force. And, I don't know, maybe some constant there, universal gravity constant or something. But in calculus I don't care about those constants. So the calculus way of thinking is that the field of forces is related to the energy in exactly this way. Can you make a function? energy function so that its gradient is like that. And in general, I'm going to leave this question for you for tomorrow, just ponder it. And uh, in general, what is it What is the statement of the conservation law in this setting? How can we word the conservation law in the setup of field of forces or energy or both? Is it something about the energy function or is it something about the field of forces? Because you see, for some fields of forces, the conservation of energy fails. So it means that conservation of energy is the non-trivial statement about the field of forces. It prohibits some fields of forces and allows others. Can we identify what are those fields of forces? Do they correspond to the energy functions? Is there anything special about those energy functions? And are there any restrictions on these functions that must be satisfied by the conservation of energy law? Okay. So these are the questions.